Hey guys, welcome back to Rajtech India. This video is about how to calculate your monthly EPF and ESA contributions of both employee and employer by using this simple EPF and ESA calculation Excel sheet. I have created this Excel sheet to make your calculations easy. I will provide the download link of this Excel sheet in below video description. By clicking on that link, you can download this form. See here, here you can see the PF calculation and you all know that employees whose basic wage plus dearness allowances is less than 15,000 rupees are eligible for EPF scheme. If there is no DA, then you need to consider only your basic wage. Here you can see basic wage plus DA. If there is no DA, just enter your basic wage. Here by entering your basic wage, you can calculate all the remaining details automatically. For example, if an employee basic wage plus dearness allowances is equal to 13,000 rupees then just enter 13,000 rupees here and remaining details will be calculated automatically here you can see employee PF contribution is 12% 12% on 13,000 is equal to 1560 rupees and employer PF contribution is 3.67% towards PF account here it is 3.67% on 13,000 rupees is equal to 477 rupees 0 0.10 and after that employer pension contribution here the spelling is wrong so I am correcting it here the employer pension contribution is 8.33 percent 8.33 percent on 13,000 rupees is equal to 1,082 rupees 90 paise here you can see the sum of these two amounts is equal to 1,560 rupees here you can see the sum so it is equal to the employee contribution so whatever the amount employee contributes the same amount will employer will also contribute but the amount is divided into two parts one part goes to pf contribution of the employee and the other part goes to pension contribution of the employee and employer will also pay some admin charges and the admin charges are pf admin charges are 0.5 percent and edla charges are 0.5 percent and the charges are calculated on basic wage plus dearness allowances here you can see by entering the basic wage the charges will also change next come to esa calculation Employees whose gross salary is less than 21,000 rupees will become eligible for ESI scheme. But for PF, it is calculated on basic wage. But for ESI, it is calculated on gross wage. Here, employee contribution towards ESI is 0.75%. Here, for example, if an employee gross wage is 19,000 rupees. Let's see, employee contribution is 0.75%. 0.75% 0 on 19,000 rupees is equal to 142.50 paise. Employer contribution is 3.25%. 3.25% 3 on 19,000 is equal to 617 rupees 50 paise. So overall, the sum of these two amounts is equal to 760 rupees. So every month, this amount is going to credit it into the employee's ESAC account. Like that by entering your gross wage and by entering your basic wage, you can calculate your monthly EPF and ESA contributions easily by using this Excel sheet. You can download it from below video description. Still, if you have any questions, then ask those questions in below comment section. And if you like this video, then please share and subscribe to Rajtech India. Thank you.